could never get a green peter right, some will say it's wrong, but this will give you a, a kind of reasonable idea of an Irish green peter. Log style wet fly, and uh, very important fly. Now, you can sort of use a, an olive coloured thread if you want to go with the fly, but you can, as a lot of people like a black head, and you can just tie using what traditionally was used. Now, I'm just going to stick to this pattern of tie for many years. Uh, Hook I'm using, this is a Camasan, it's, it's a B175 size 10. Nice. Now we just take the thread from the eye, just get to this point here. And this gives me the measure for where I'm going to tie in the wing and the front hackle. Now what I'm going to do here is save a bit of bulk and time, I'm going to tie in the rib. Normally you don't tie onto a bare hook but you can get away with this. This rib of the fly is a, an oval gold tinsel and it, because it's like a fine braid type, it's got a bit of grip. So you can get away with doing this. If it was a wire you had to have to be careful. Now I'm just going to tie it on the side and the way work my way down. Just get basically just slightly by just in the bend or just slightly by the barb of the hook. Now for the red arse I'm just going to use a mixed seal of seals for an SLF in red. And a bit on. You could use just the seals for itself, it's entirely up to you. And just dub it on reasonably tight, slide it up, get it started, and then form your you see the tag at the back. Just a nice shape that you like. Just stroking these fibres back a wee bit. That's fine. And if you would basically tie down your rib down here, it would be getting in the, in the, basically in the way, so by doing what I did, by tying it in the way down, it makes it much easier. Now for the body, green for the body of this fly is up to yourself. This is an, an olive mix of uh, seals for an SLF again. Just going to tease it out, again onto the dubbin, onto the thread. Make sure you get enough on that it should form the body. Now I'm going to slightly come up and onto the tag and then start to build up your body. And then shape into it. And at the same time what I'm doing is I'm basically tightening up. As you can see, it's, you're not seeing the black thread through it. Like some people say use an olive because you would see it, but you don't. As long as you're neat enough with the, the dubbing, you'll be fine. Now for the, the body hackle, I'm just going to use, this is a, a Shannon, which is a saddle. It's a natural red. It's going to be for the, the body, and you can use Chinese, it's up to yourself. Uh, Chinese, or whatever make you have, whatever you feel right. Just going to fold the back of the stem there for strength. I'm going to do a turn or two at the top. And then work my way down. Maybe around about four to five turns. Cross your rib. Bring your rib up through, tying this in. Work your way all the way up. Just before you come to this last turn, just pull back or draw back fibres, catch it on the side and tie it down. Nice and tight. Trim away your rib. I can break this off. Now what I like to do is get some velcro at this point, just bring out some of the the dubbing. Just watch your thread, you don't catch your thread. To me, it roughs it up a bit, and that's what I want. Brings a bit of colour into the body. Just put a wee bit of wax on my thread here and tidy up this area. Now I'm going to double wing. And the wing is hen pheasant quill. There we go. Now I have a right and a left side. You need to have a right and a left side. So they've got a slip from either side to form the wing. Now the first set I'm going to put on 
is basically I'm going to cross, cross the wing, basically have them sitting so that when I tie them on the, the catch at the point where they cross over at the tying area. Now I've taken, as I say, an even slip from either side. To look at them. Now what I'm going to do here is just cross them, like there, see how they're crossing, so I can sit them on the top, when it tips towards the back, and then it's a light turn or so, and then tighten up a couple more. And there we are, so they're slightly crossed. And then, again, you know, two slips, one from either side. And we tie this on as normal, just as a normal wing. Basically roof style. Then we'll show you the underside of the the wing. The tips lined up. Tie it on the top. Sitting where you want, and you want a nice pinching loop, nice and tight. The under wing will support the wing on top, and what you get is this lovely roof type cardis shape, low as well. You want it nice and low, you don't want it too high, and then trim away the excess. You've plenty, you've given yourself plenty of room there for tying in the hackle and for tying this off. Just gonna put some wax on my thread. Make sure this is well tied in, nice and tight. You always need a nice base of thread down for the, the hackle. Come back up, see we are. Yeah, nice shape, that's fine. Now we've got a, another short, there's a Chinese ginger, or sorry, natural red. Just remove the fluff from the bottom. You want this henny coat, you want the soft as well as the stiff part of the fibre, you want both. Again, you can two or three turns down, you can pull this back. So lock it in. You've got wax on my thread. It means I'm winding onto a wax thread and it gives me a lot more grip. And you can really beef it up, or I mean, it depends on how many turns you want, you can have less. Usually when you're tying this at an Irish style fly, you need plenty of well, usually I like a plenty of hackle. Fish seem to go for that. Length of fibre should be slightly longer than the body hackle. Just keep winding down. Do you see I'm just using my fingers to hold the hackle. Cross the thread again. I throw the hackle, sorry. Two or three turns, fold it back. Just form a nice head. And then we can bake that off. And whip finish. And trim away it. And there we are. Got a nice, a nice wing. Um, got a nice shape. See, as a wet fly, it does look very bushy. But when you're fishing the locks, uh, you need a really good, like usually a good wind will make a fish or make these fish much better. It suits the style. It may be formed to a lot of people when they see this. You can, if you want to make it into a dry fly, you'd obviously make it I'll tie it on a, a lighter wire hook. You would shorten the body hackle, and the front hackle would be more stiff, light, straight, and that would be a dry version. Use the same colour combination, same wing, just change the size of the fibre length, but that is more of the wet fly style. You see, it's nice, and all we have to do is finish off a coat of varnish on the head, a couple of coats, and that there's your green peter wet fly, with a double wing. <laughs>